one more crooked word. Your tongue could open a wine bottle. I love democracy. I love the Republic. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. This just in, it was two days ago, and um, Star Wars Theory did a video on it. The thing I don't like about Star Wars Theory, and he's like the only big YouTuber I respect now, is because every story that comes out, no matter where it came from, be it Variety, Deadline, whatever, or some fan rag, he thinks it's true and presents it that way. It doesn't ask questions or anything else um but again kathleen kennedy her name gets mentioned and she's basically like a reoccurring form of sexually transmitted disease uh you see the face of star wars and you see these little you know red dots all over the mouth she's herpes she's a human form of fucking herpes and even if she's not there She's still fucking there. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what I think Bob Iger should do. Okay, because I'm sick, tired of this shit. So Sean Levy, who is a big name director with some movies on his uh, resume, start talking about a Star Wars movie. It has something to do with Kylo Ren. And, uh, and of course, Star Wars theory, without being critical goes, this this might be pretty good. I'm paraphrasing, but I'm aghast that no one at Disney has said, shut the fuck up to these people. Okay? It's, I'm look, I'm sick and tired of this PR war that this old, dried up, disease-ridden bitch does this all the time and gets fucking away with it. Okay? There is no Sean Levy movie. There is no Sean Levy movie. It is not even, look, they're trying to save Star Wars. How does a movie with Kyle Ron save Star Wars? Okay, the biggest emo douchebag ever created in the movies. But he's Kathleen Kennedy's perfect man, okay? So Sean Levy's talking about this and other things. I'm gonna put the, uh, story in from Variety in uh, the description. And, you know, he's doing Deadpool 3. Now, he could be saying this to leverage another project. Okay, when the, the fact that the actors are stupider than the writers were during the strike is making it very difficult for any real um, announcements to be made, even though if I was Bob Iger, I'd be losing patience uh, with Kennedy, and I would say she's retired. She's on an extended leave. She's retired, and uh, John Favreau is uh, the interim creative director for Lucasfilm while we look for a new president to take Kathy's place. I mean, if she still has her fucking contract till next October, that's what he should be saying. Okay, that's what he should be saying. But no, we've got absolute fucking silence from Disney and she gets away with this shit. So guess what? Phantom Menace is going to get all riled up again. The Black Pill Blobs are going to get all riled up again and make up stories and lies about sor their quote-unquote sources say and all this illegitimate bullshit that comes out of Kane Blob's mouth. And we're just going to be going, there is, this is bullshit. This is a PR stunt. What bothers me is that they're going to assume things that aren't true. All right. The 
the Hollywood trade mags don't exist to tell the truth in the news. They exist as PR conduits for assholes like Bob Iger. Sorry, Bob. True. You're our asshole, though. And cunts like Kathleen Kennedy. And she's doing this to undermine John and Dave. She's probably getting news through Carrie Beck about what's going on at Lucasfilm now. And she's trying to undermine John and Dave. All right. And the fact that she has not been gagged from talking about anything. And, and the fact of the matter is that these directors and stuff have not been told to stop talking about it because it's not happening is a weakness on the side of Disney. So let's talk about what Bob Iger should be doing. First off, I'd like to say that Bob Iger is really screwing up this issue with Lucasfilm. There's absolutely no reason not to believe that uh, John Favreau is going through everything that Kennedy shot down to find something good to make. Um, she's on the uh, war path again with rebooting the original trilogy. I think that it could have been, look, it either could be this dumbass here or Kennedy doing that. Now, it makes more sense if it's Iger, but hey, that came out, and now Sean Levy's uh, running around like a jagoff screaming about a Kyle Ron movie that no one has asked for, okay? This is how fucking disconnected Kennedy is. She honestly fucking thinks that people want to see a Kylo Ren movie. She honestly still thinks that. She actually believes her movies were popular. You know, the, 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 she's supposed to be a budget conscious producer. Her running Lucasfilm was like a drunken uh, teenager with daddy and mommy's credit cards at Bergdorf's. Okay? That's what that is. All right? I, I, I just, she absolutely had no idea what the hell she was doing. The fact that Iger, when they were renegotiating her first contract, did not insist that a do not fire clause was not, was, was he, that he did not insist that clause is erased is a sign of fucking weakness. Okay. What could she do to him? Um, you know, this, you could add what do the lawyers say. We don't they feel this an agent. Not like she worships the devil. Well, she doesn't have to. He worships her. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but the idea that she's still well, protected she's by this. Horrible. I've made it. And she's not even married anymore. And she gets away with this shit. I'm looking at Iger saying, go on the record saying she has been retired. She is on leave from Lucasfilm and that we are currently looking for a replacement. We value Kathy's input on whatever, and uh, when her contract is up, we wish her luck. Meanwhile, John Favreau, as acting creative director, will be uh, replacing her till we find a, a new president of Lucasfilm. That's all he has to do, okay? That's all he has to do. And then he can add any movies and uh TV shows that are connected with Kathy are being canceled or discontinued because the direction Lucasfilm is going is not in that direction. That's all he has to do. All right, that's it. That's all he has to do. And he wouldn't even have to say it. It could just be a press release from the Walt Disney, Walt Disney Company concerning Lucasfilm. That's it. Okay, that's it. And what really sucks is that everybody in fucking Hollywood, even Sean Levy, knows 
that this shit is going on. When Lord Tornaga has a friend who's a very high-ranking uh, executive at a studio saying, yes, we know all about what's going on at Lucasfilm. And detailing shit. When you've got other people who are connected to her through a former director saying, we know what's going on. The, look, stop pretending. All right? Get the penicillin out. Hose Lucasfilm down, down and run this bitch off. Okay? You've got to take control of the fucking narrative, Bob. And you're not. Unbelievable. How stupid could... George Lucas is right. Studio executives really are stupid. This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.